So this is the first Blythe I've ever customized, or she's my first Blythe ever. Um, I mostly collect uh, BJDs uh, made out of resin. I do have a couple small mini pull-ups because after I got a big pull-up, I um, got kind of freaked out because their heads, you know, are hollow and plastic. And I thought, oh, I'm going to wreck this doll. I'm going to drop her. Um, so I turned around and I sold her right away. Um, but the Blythes, because of the variety, what people do to them, and they just look so cute. And uh, recently I was speaking to uh, Carrie from the Bay Area Alameda Doll Club. And um, she brought hers to a doll convention I was at, and she showed me it. And it was really stunning in, in person. These these the dolls photograph well, but in person they're just so adorable. So I had to pick Carrie's brain and ask a whole bunch of questions. And then I just um, purchased this one, which this is a Basak from Thailand. I got it from an eBay seller. And um, it's a clone, which is apparently made up of parts that are imperfect from, like, um, Takara, which actually makes the new Neo uh, Blythes. So um, I'm just going to run down, do a quick rundown of the things that I did with her. And um, as you can see, I gave her a different face-up. It's not the best. I'm no way a professional. Um, but I did her eyelids. The first thing that I did was, of course, I, I cleaned her up and I did um, super uh, Mr. Super Clear on her. The same thing I use for my BJD face-ups to take away the shininess to give her a more matte look. And then um, I did some blushing on her eyes. Then I actually removed her eyepiece, uh, the little like tower thing that was in there. And um, I put in new eyelashes, so those are actually new eyelashes. Um, the eye eyebrows, lips, some weird little blushing. Then um, I gave her two new pulls as well. These are like little charms that I put on there. And then I actually made a pair of um, two of her eyes. Just let me put this down real quick so I can show you. Now they're imperfect. <laughs> so um, I actually made these eyes. I don't know if you could see that, and there's some imperfection. Apparently, the Basak dolls have an issue with getting the pupils out, the eye chips. I did the glue method, um, like everybody recommended, but those things just would not come out. Um, somebody had posted that there was a demon in China or Thailand whose specific job was to glue the eye chips in, so nobody ever got them out, and I'm like, yeah, that's true. So, um, but these I made, and those are actually, uh, coated in resin. So, I just, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And then, these other, other chips that I made, um, were just actually, oops, okay, well, she has, she has the gray ones, and those were, those came with her. Um, and I just, I left them. Um, and then she has her green ones, which, those look nice. The ones that I did remove were, they were kind of damaged already. So, um, okay. Having a little issue with her eyelash. But, um, these ones, I'm... I made as well but those ones I took the lazy way and I just did the printed design and then I coated them with resin so nothing fancy but um, it was a, a learning experience um, customizing her I didn't do any carving at all um, I actually had a lot of fun um, making the eyes and giving her face up I didn't feel the pressure that I usually do if I'm working on a BJD and I think because these are um, a lower cost doll um, and especially these ones from Thailand the clones because they're like 35 bucks or something plus shipping so it's not like you're working on a 
a BJD, you know, that costs way more, but, um, so yeah, but, um, I'm also, I, I'm all, oh, this little outfit I bought, um, as well from an eBay seller, but, um, those little shoes came free, <laughs> but, um, yeah, in any event, there she is, and I also purchased a little cake cart for her, and, um, I'm gonna review that, because I'm really, really happy with, with that, so.